below. <sighs> the first thing here that I must ask is that for the next few minutes, we create for ourselves a new judgment zone, shall we? Welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I'm Ophelia and thank you all so much for joining me today as I confess to some things. As I said, this is a no judgment zone and I hope, I hope if you're still being a little bit judgy that I can talk myself out of the judgment, maybe. This situation all started after I visited Nanta. I'll explain it. But first, I've got to put this box down because it's rather huge with some things that I've bought. Hold please. Can we just back up for a second? <laughs> Um, all of this started when I went to Nanta, or maybe it even started a bit before then, when I put up that video, and I'll find it and hopefully link it, uh, where I did some creating with some colored pencils. And I told you guys I'd never really used colored pencils the way that I guess they were created to be used. I usually would just kind of scribble around with them. Um, so that kind of put some things in motion. And then when I went to NAMTA, um, poof, my head exploded. I realized then that I personally have so much to learn. And there are so many things that I just want to do to not only create but then to be a better artist. I want to learn all of the things, all of the things. And so I did a bit of shopping for some things of things that I want to learn. And today I bring to you guys my haul, the, the contents of the box. We will look at and kind of see what I've purchased, um, things that I am so excited about. A lot of it is um, paper situations and um, such like that, but I won't talk too much here in the intro because it's gonna take us quite a bit of time to go through everything. However, I do hope that you guys enjoy this video what i will tell you and <sighs> the confession is um yes i i do admit that i am obsessed with art supplies and all thing things art i am just an art lover and an art supply collector person um but I, oh man, this is hard because I do love art supplies. I don't go as ham usually as I did this time, but I feel as though, as I try to justify this, the more that I looked for things, the more things that I, I the more things I found and it all just snowballed. And so here we are with a giant box that I'll stop talking about so that we can have a look. Thanks guys for being here. I hope you enjoy this. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that notification so that you can see more of all of this. And um, let's get into what I've got. Thanks guys. You guys found her. She returned very safely to me and um life can now go on as usual but as i said i'm sorry this is long 
I am very sorry that it's all over the place. I will try to keep things grouped um, and I won't be doing any sort of swatches or anything like that. Just kind of a quick run through of everything that I've got, but look forward to seeing all of this stuff in a video right here soon. Um, the first thing is honestly a little bit random and I was scrolling on Jerry's Artorama art Jerry's Artorama online and I was looking for I pulled up this name to look up uh, some pins that I have and um, when I typed in this name in the search box this guy popped up and I said hmm and what it is it's a rechargeable mini vacuum um so i had to have it this is legion stonehenge craft paper while i was at namta and the reason why i got this is because while at namta there was a lady at their demo booth and she was demoing um these pens so that's what kind of led to me wanting to try craft paper. Um, so I got the craft paper as well as some Jelly Roll Moonlight pens, some Stardust, some glaze, and some metallics. And so I picked up these as well as their gray pens which I thought would be kind of neat to play around with all of this stuff on the craft paper. And I'm going to try to figure out the best way to put things away as I explain it so that we won't have a collapse of the art room. But I just want to play around with these pins on this craft paper so I thought that would be kind of neat to pick up. I also ended up getting um, these are micro mini detail brushes and I thought it would be kind of neat to use these little guys for some little abstract paintings and I will also try my best to make sure that I link all the products that I'm talking about in the description box. The next thing that I purchased, and these kind of all go together, so I'll just pull them all out together, um, were, I got some different kinds of sketch pads and sketch papers. What I'm interested in doing mainly is learning how to work <laughs> colored pencils properly. The Soho Urban Sketch Pad or Sketchbook, uh, 65 pounds, 120 sheets and it's in um, I think it's called like a brick journal format so I got this guy as well as a Fabriano um, 1264 sketch pad this is 60 pound paper um, Linux cotton paper by Legion and I guess what I'm looking for in these papers or what I'm wanting to test is a little bit of tooth where um, it's not as slick as like a bristle type paper where then I just go in way too heavy with colored pencil. So I wanted to, I got this as well to test. And um, this is Borden and Riley and it's 90 pound paper. Um, again, to test out colored pencil and this it's Savoir Faire um, Fabriano drawing paper I think this one is called like their fat pads or something like that um, and this one is 70 pounds 70 pound paper um, again drawing and sketching hopefully these between all of these I will find a paper that it will help me to learn how to properly use colored pencils. The next grouping of papers that I got, um, alcohol, my daughter's downstairs. 
Um, I got some alcohol ink Yupo paper as well as Artfinity synthesis paper and this is Yasutomo mineral paper as well as some Legion transparent Yupo paper. It is my hope with all of these um i want to try some different alcohol ink techniques on them so these are just your regular uh ranger ink alcohol inks so i want to try doing some alcohol ink techniques on these different types of papers and so that's why i picked up these guys um you know i'm thinking that it's gonna work like this one says designed for um watercolors or alcohol ink and so i'm thinking that these may all operate pretty much the same maybe but what i'm hoping is in creating alcohol ink backgrounds and such like that that it will or I can uh, make some ephemera type paper so we shall see how these experiments go and then I also picked up this uh, it's a Soho mixed media brick um, when I saw the other sketch one I saw this one and I thought you know it looked kind of neat I'm kind of in love with this binding of sorts and so I got this Soho mixed media brick as well as a pad of the Windsor & Newton mixed media paper and this is 135 pound paper that I'll just try out for wet and dry media just to kind of goof off with and just to see how they will work with all the other art toys that I have. I am at the end almost of my current sketchbook and I'm on the hunt for a sketchbook that will handle watercolor, light washes of watercolor, even if it's like watercolor swatching without bleeding through or completely damaging completely damaging the paper underneath or the back side of the paper. So I found this um, handbook journal company. This one's a drawing and it is 10 and a half by eight and a quarter grand portrait. So I picked up this one as well as the same brand. Um, this guy is the watercolor 300 GSM, so 140 pound paper. So I'm excited to try these as just a regular sketchbook. The Stillman and Burn sketchbook, I've used the Alpha before, and it's a really good sketchbook to kind of handle all the medias, mediums that I use. So I ended up getting the Epsilon series to give this guy a try. And I got myself some watercolors because I couldn't help it. Uh, I saw these in, listed in the new section, and these are the Marie's Master watercolors. And so I picked up a set, and then I injured the packaging. So I just dumped them in this container. Um, but I'm kind of excited because they had some really neat colors. I'm kind of excited because there were some really neat colors. For instance, this one is pearl red light so I was kind of I just noticed that there were some neat colors as well as some traditional colors that were in this guy so or in the set of them because they they come in sets as well as open stock so I got a set of 20 I believe it was or 24 and then I added in some of the extra colors and I also saw this it's a soho easy lifts easy lift uh, palette of watercolors um 36 semi-moist pans so i thought that would be kind of neat to try out 
this guy also has um, some metallic colors that I thought would be pretty neat to just try out different things with. So I got this set of watercolors and I apologize for the glare. And then I saw this and it just honestly, it got my attention. Um, this is Mamari, or that's the brand, Mamari Blue. This is the set of 36 watercolors. I fell in love with the packaging. This is such a nice, sturdy tin. It has, it comes with a little card that I guess I could, you could swatch all the colors on. Um, but I just love like the deep mixing wells. And then of course you've got all of this space down here. Um, we all know, or maybe we don't, but now we do. I just have such a love affair with watercolors and watercolor palettes. So I just felt the need to have to pick this up. I also got the Holbein uh, gouache and this is the design gouache. And what I'm thinking is I will just pour these out in like a regular palette. Um, the very same thing that I, th I think I'm gonna end up doing with these is just putting them out on a palette um, and letting them dry out to use. But um, this just kind of piqued my interest, especially after in that last video that I did where I posted um, using gouache with the shadow watercolor. And then I saw these and uh, I, it's, I just had to have it. So I got this and then with watercolors. Um, I got these two little Daniel Smith watercolor dot cards. This one is the watercolor, watercolor confetti. And it is um, 36 dot cards in this guy. And then this one is the mineral marvels, 36 of the mineral watercolor dot cards to try. So I'm kind of excited to just play around with those. And then with watercolor, I also got, this is by the brand Yasutomo. And there were a couple of things I got from this brand. So the first being these pearlescent watercolor paints that I just, it piqued my interest if we're gonna be honest. I saw these uh, when I was looking at some of the other things from them and I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Um, but it just kind of honestly piqued my interest. So I got these pearlescent watercolors as well as a so i picked up these two sumi inks from the same brand uh, just to kind of try out and uh because in all honesty in seeing them i did not know the difference in the two so i'm gonna play around with these for a bit and with that same company or from that same company from that same company I found some paper. This is their sketch pad. And again, I think I wanna experiment with these to uh, create ephemera and such like that. These papers, as well as inks, uh, the inks here, um, to create some ephemera. So I got the sketch paper. And then these papers. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this name, uh, but it's their high quality Japanese art paper. Um, this is for, it says uh, Sumie painting watercolor collage. So I thought it would be great to, of course, again, create some um, collage type ephemera paper. So I got this one as well as this one again for wanting to print and such like that and then this one as well art paper for ink painting and watercolor so i thought it would be kind of neat oops 
I have two more. Uh, this one and this one. So I'm hoping to experiment a little bit with these to see if I can do or create some ephemera collage watercolor. We'll figure out um, maybe some printing with like gel printing or um, something else I've been wanting to try a bit more is paper marbling. So I want to play around with these and just kind of see what I can create. And then finally, I've got a couple of acrylic paint situations. Um, the first one I found is this one is Soho, uh, the value set of 48 colors. And um, I just thought it, this would be a neat way because I've only tried a couple of these before. Um, and what I'm interested in is finding like with the Lucas paints that I have, finding like my go-to colors, but finding those colors also in different brands, if that makes sense. And just wanting to kind of play around with and mix things up some. So I got this um, Soho brand, 48 colors. And with that same thing in mind, and let's see if I can move this to get everything in frame. Also wanting to experiment with finding different colors and playing around with different colors. I got this Amsterdam. It's 90 of the 20 milliliter tubes just to be able to change things up a bit in my studio and this doesn't show us much but this would I guess be the colors that's offered here and maybe here's some over this side but it's 90 of like the little tiny tubes and again just to be able to you know switch things up a bit in my artwork and um see if I can, sometimes I almost feel as though painting with my same colors or my go-to colors will put me in a bit of a rut sometimes. So I'm hoping that experimenting with this set, with this set, as well as this Soho set will just give me some different color options to use in my acrylic painting. And believe that is it for this haul. Um, I appreciate you guys being here as I ramble through all of the things that I've purchased. What it is, or my hope is, that I will continue to experiment with all of these things and definitely bring those experiments here to the channel. So, I should say that um, I hope that you guys will stick around as I create some really bad art while experimenting with all the stuff that I have here to play with. And um, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.